Welcome to the season premiere of BTN Carolina. I'm Whitney O'Connor and we're proud to present our coverage of the Virtual Hockey League, your number one source for online 6v6 hockey. Tonight's presentation is sponsored in part by League Arena Radio and League Arena Television, your official sources for VHL news. Tonight's broadcast is also sponsored in part by The Penalty Box of Kalal Oakman, the number one rated show on League Arena. See you at Center Ice when the puck drops. And here are tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Iceman Industries. For Vancouver, at center we have Blindside. The left wing is Digano. Right wing is Seabass. Left D is Snipefest, right D is J-Bid, and the goalie is King AP. For Carolina, we have Sir Sandman at center, right wing is Darth Forsberg, left wing is Millie, right D is Drunk Bomber, left D is KC97, and starting in net is Paralyzing. And now we have Adam Smythe with the call. Thank you, Whitney. Welcome to beautiful British Columbia. We're set to face off Carolina versus Vancouver, season six opener. And here's the face-off, Sir Sandman versus Blindside. Sir Sandman wins the draw back to Drunk Bomber, a new acquisition by the Carolina Hurricanes picked up this season in the draft. Passes over to the top of the slot, picked off by Vancouver and dropped all the way back to King AP who dumps it wisely out of the zone. Carolina has to regroup. More neutral zone play, picked up by Degano. Degano with the puck down low in the corner, looks for the point, point to point. Now here's a shot saved by Perry. Vancouver's coming out of the gate earlier, peppering Perry. Last season, these two teams had absolutely no love for each other. In fact, Degano was on New Jersey the past two seasons before being traded. Degano and Forsberg have a little bit of a rivalry, and well, now they're starting the home opener, or the season opener, against each other. Here's KC walking in across the blue line and gets picked off. Passed up the boards to Seabass. Seabass turns it over to the neutral zone. Vancouver wisely dumps it back in. Sandman on the chase. Sandman pins the guy up against the boards. Retrieves the puck, but it's picked up by Vancouver. And they pass it back out. Here comes the Vancouver breakout. Gains the zone. Stick lifts KC. KC wisely with the puck. Handling the puck down low. Hands it back to Sandman. Sandman tries to dump it wide around the boards. Forsberg chasing. Forsberg picks it up. Looks back to KC. KC shoots. Saved by King AP. Sandman with the puck behind the net, trying to find something. Oh, it's loose! Millie picks it up, point blank shot. King AP makes that save. Both teams not willing to give up an inch tonight. Millie, picked up in a trade with Ottawa last season, is the second season with the Carolina Hurricanes organization. Here's Sandman versus Blindside. Blindside wins it back to Bright, uh, Snipefest. Snipefest dumps it out, picked up by Carolina, dumped into the zone by KC. Here comes Blindside, Blindside over to Seabass. Seabass shoots, Perry save, picked up by Drunk Bomber. Drunk Bomber passes it to Sandman, Sandman to Darth, now dumped in. Picked up by Seabass, passes back to the point. Points decided to play hot potato with the puck, but picked up by Sandman. Drunk Bomber picks up the loose puck deep in his zone, passes back up to Sandman, Sandman wisely dumps it back into the Vancouver zone. Vancouver retreats. Now on the breakout, at center ice, here comes Seabass, trying to gain the zone, stick handles. Looking for something down low, shoots point blank, saved by Perry. Paralyzer last season, despite having a horrendous season when it comes to losses, still put up decent numbers as far as save percentage with shots faced and saves made. He actually ended up winning the Lady Bing Memorial Trophy for being such a stand-up character in the BHL community. Now here's KC with the puck, passes up to Darth Forsberg. Forsberg gains the line, tries to deke something fancy. Vancouver's defense is not listening. They're looking, here's Darth down low, back behind the net. He gets tripped up. That's right, Darth Goomberg, take a picture of this. Darth Goomberg draws the first penalty of the season. That's right. And it's not him going to the box either. Sandman against blindside. Sandman loses the draw, but Forsberg picks it up. Sandman has it behind the net. He tries to find, find something down low. Can't get nothing through. Vancouver has it, but it's poked off the stick by Sandman. Sandman looks for Bomber. Bomber shoots deflected. Loose puck in front, picked up by Vancouver. Dumped wisely out of the zone. Drunk Bomber retreating to pick up the loose puck. Looking to regain the neutral zone. Now to Sandman. Sandman assessing the situation. Gains the zone. Does a little fade button hook. Doesn't work. Seabass is all over it. Now Seabass top of the slot, looking for something open. Can't find anything. Now back to the defense, who's pinching. Shot saved by Perry, picked up by KC. 
Now Carolina passes back up to Millie. Millie gains the zone, looking for something down low. Blocked by Sandman. Now picked up by uh, KC. KC shoots and it's saved by King AP. 39 seconds left on the first power play. Scoreless tie. Sandman blindside. Sandman loses the draw again. Picked up by Jabid. Jabid has the puck, dumps it deep outside the zone. Picked up by KC. KC dumps it up ice. Millie can't handle it. Jabid with the puck. Jabid dumps it back into Carolina's zone, deep in the zone on net. Perry watches it go by. Faithful that some of his defensemen will pick it up. Bomber tries to hit a streaking Darth Forsberg, but it takes a wicked bounce, and Forsberg's not able to hold on to the puck. Now Millie drives it hard into the zone, picked up by Sam, and Cluster of Vancouver can actually read that play. Now up to Dagano. Dagano has it, stick checked, poked off his stick, now pass, now shot, saved by Perry, poked by Dagano, Dagano scores! Dagano pokes a loose puck. Perry couldn't find it in his pads. Brett would not pull the whistle. Perry thought he had it. It was loose between the wickets, and Dagano pokes it home. 1-0 Vancouver, three minutes, four seconds left in the first period. Now blindside wins it back to his team. Back to blindside, but they're offside. Vancouver is looking to capitalize on the early momentum with that poke goal right there. Dagano sticking with the play, playing whistle to whistle. He didn't stop until he heard the whistle, and he was rewarded for doing so. Now Dagano with the loose puck in the neutral zone. Checked. Poked off the stick by Forsberg. Picked up by Bomber. Bomber with the puck, looking to find someone breaking out, but he passes it straight to Dagano's stick. Dagano has the puck now deep in the boards. Down on the corners, trying to find something in the slot. Nothing there. Deflected by Sandman. Picked up by Gano. Gano over to, to Seabass. Seabass can't find anything. Deflected, shot wide. Now KC tries to pass to Millie. Stick lifted by Sandman. Sandman gains his own, tries to shoot. Poked off the stick the last second by a Vancouver collapsing defense. And that's the end of the first. Vancouver won. Carolina nothing. Now we're going to break for a VHL news desk news update with none other than Sam Campbell. There's a replay of Dagano's goal. He just kept on poking it through the wickets of Perry. Perry thought he had it, but it was loose, and it went in the back of the net. After one, Vancouver's up 1-0. Out shooting Carolina 6-3. Time on attack, heavily in favor of Vancouver. And now Sam Campbell with the VHL News Studio. Sam? This is a VHL News update. I'm Sam Campbell. Opening night, Season 6. It's underway. After the first period of play, the New York Islanders are trailing to Chicago Blackhawks 2-1. A rematch of Season 3's Stanley Cup Finals, Detroit versus Pittsburgh, scoreless after the first period. St. Louis Blues taking on the New Jersey Devils, 1-0 St. Louis. Nashville taking on Philadelphia, 2-1 Predators. Columbus and the New York Rangers are scoreless after one. Minnesota and Buffalo are tied 1-1. Calgary and Toronto. Calgary is trailing the Maple Leafs, 1-0. Dallas is ahead of the Montreal Canadiens, 1-0. San Jose is trailing to Boston, 1-0. Phoenix on top of the Senators, 1-0. Tampa Bay and Anaheim. Bolts, Ducks, tied up at 2. Washington versus Los Angeles. Kings on top of the Capitals, 2-0. Scoreless in Edmonton between the Oilers and the Thrashers. And finally, the Florida Panthers are walking all over the Colorado Avalanche for nothing. Now back to our VTN Carolina game. Carolina at Vancouver with Vancouver with the one nothing lead. Back to you, Adam Smith. Thanks, Sam. Welcome back, folks. Start of the second period. Vancouver with the one nothing lead on Degano's poke check goal between Perry's wickets in the five hole. One back by uh, blindside. Back to Snipe Fest. Snipe Fest passes, but we have a penalty on the play. It looks like Sir Sandman is going to be called for a tripping. Forsberg on the faceoff dot, going up against Blindside. Forsberg loses the draw. Vancouver wins it back to the defense. Pass back to Gano. Back to the point. Shot saved by Perry. Wisely dumped out of the zone by Millie. Vancouver has to retreat and regroup. One minute, 30 seconds left on the Vancouver power play. Pass picked off in the neutral zone, but could not be handled by Millie. Forsberg tries to pick up the loose puck, but couldn't. Here comes 
Blindside, blindside passes to Seabass. Seabass down low, trying to find something, nothing there. Trying to find something short side, Perry with the stop. Puck trickles wide, still behind the net. Back to the top of the slot, saved by Perry again, point blank. Now Vancouver is putting on the pressure. Degano back to blindside, blindside couldn't handle the puck. Now it's dumped all the way back down to Vancouver's zone, wisely picked up by King AP, dumped into the neutral zone, but tipped out of play into the Vancouver bench. 40 seconds left on Vancouver's first power play. Oddly enough, Forsberg's not in the box. Forsberg off the blindside. Blindside wins it back to Snipefest. Snipefest being pinned up by the board by Forsberg. Forsberg on the forecheck. Hits Degano. A little bit of bad blood there. Here's Millie, stick checking. Pokes it off of Seabass's stick. Now picked up by Vancouver. Down low, deep in the zone. Pass back to the point, deflected by Forsberg. Forsberg lays out blindside and dumps it wisely out of the zone. On the retrieval is J-Bid. J-Bid passes around the boards, but loose puck is not picked up. Intercepted by Sir Salmon, who's up back out of the box, poked off his stick. Down left in the corner, around the boards to Millie. Millie back to Salmon. Salmon tries to do a wraparound, and King AP read the whole thing. Here comes Seabass. Seabass trying to pass it, but gets tripped up on the point. But no, Gano picks up the loose puck and scores on a delayed penalty. Seabass gets tripped up, Degano picks up the loose change and beats Perry on another poke check. Now uh, Forsberg with the puck, gains his zone, tries to dump it down deep, circles, picks up Sandman. Sandman with a wrapper on the puck, goes right across the full crease but does not go in. What bad luck for Sandman. Shoots it on net in frustration and King AP read the whole thing. Made the save. Now Millie with the puck, picked up, dumped it deep back into Vancouver zone. Vancouver with a 2-0 lead. Vancouver with the puck, there's blindside, tried to pass to Gano, picked up by Sandman, deflected, picked up by Drunk Bomber. Now Vancouver on the breakout, Forsberg gains his zone, he's battling with the puck, down low, couldn't do anything, poked off his stick by Snipefest. Snipefest to Gano, Gano with the puck, tries to deke, poked off his stick, and hooked by Sir Sandman. Sir Sandman, the most disciplined player on Carolina, is the most undisciplined character tonight. You would think, with a goon on the ice such as Forsberg, he'd be the one making the trip to the box. Nope, it's all Sam Man. I don't know what's going on in that man's head. Here's Seabass with the puck. Stick, uh, stick playing with the puck. Trying to find something down low, can't find anything. Stopped by Perry, picked up by Forsberg. Forsberg wisely dumps it out of the zone, slaps it in, goes around the net. Picked up by Vancouver. Vancouver with a minute and 17 seconds left on the power play, gains his zone. Back to the D, and offside. It's a little too aggressive there. Vancouver's looking to put their foot on the pedal and keep the pressure up. Just a bit offsides there. Forsberg against blindside. Both are having a little fun at the faceoff dot. One by blindside, back to Seabass. Seabass picked up and checked by KC. KC keeps him to the outside. Nothing up top of the slot. Now back up to the point. Here's blindside, circling around, trying to find Gano. Gano shot, blocked by KC. Gano's pinned up against glass by KC, and Millie picks up the loose change and dumps it out of the zone. Forsberg on the four check. Forsberg races to the puck. He pins Snipefest against the boards. Picks up the loose change, but is turned over by Millie, and Vancouver has it on the breakout. Here's Gano with some nifty stick moves. Passes it deep down the blind side. Blind side looking for something down low. Can't find anything. Poked away from Gano by uh, KC. Now picked up by Gano. Deeks, slot, shot, post. Blindside rips one off the post. He could have beat Perry on that one. Perry was thankful that the man in iron is his friend. And that would be icing. Face off deep in the Carolina zone. Degano, the new owner of the Vancouver franchise, is looking to take that team back to the playoffs. They missed the playoffs last season. They haven't been to the playoffs since season four. Now Sandman with a little stick check battle over there, lifting the sticks, trying to pick up the puck and end up being offsides on Carolina. Face off in the neutral zone. Sandman against Blindside. Blindside is dominating the face off dot tonight. Here's Gano with the deke, fancy move, Bomber's not buying it. Bomber passes it up to Forsberg, Forsberg passes it hard off the boards, tries to get Millie, but Millie can't handle the puck. Picked up by Blindside. Now Sandman with an errant pass interception. Now here comes Forsberg pinning up Gano against the glass. These two do not like each other. Hard dump in by Vancouver, picked up by Drunk Bomber. Bomber fighting off Degano. Millie can't handle a loose puck. 
Now here's KC dumping it high in the, in the zone, picked up by Forsberg. Forsberg dumps it back for Millie. Millie tries to do it, re return to center pass, but uh, Forsberg was not on the same page. Now here comes a breakaway for Seabass. Seabass holds, hits the brakes and shoots. Top of the slot, Perry read the whole thing, makes the glove save. Three minutes, 49 seconds left in the second period. Vancouver currently up 2-0. This is the season six opener for both teams. Carolina on the road at beautiful British Columbia, Vancouver. Here comes Snipefest. Snipefest has it poked off his stick. Now here comes Forsberg, passes to Sandman. Sandman tries to pass Forsberg down low. Too many Vancouver sticks in the way. Now Gano picks it up. Forsberg misses his hit and gets injured. Forsberg is hurting right now, folks. The goon tried to railroad to Gano to send a message, and he missed. Right there. Hello, Forsberg. Hello, Glass. Glass one, Forsberg nothing. Here's Seabass with the puck. Seabass poked off his stick by KC. KC passes it back to Millie. Millie gloves it out midair. Passes it to Sandman. Sandman to Forsberg. Forsberg tries to bring it down the zone, but he gets it poked off his stick. Great hustle by Snipefest. Five seconds left in the second period. A frustrating second period for Carolina. They had a couple more shots on net, but they had a couple of goals, or sure goals. That Lady Luck just wasn't on their side. The glaring one was the one that went right across the goal line on a wraparound by Sir Sandman, and it didn't go in. Degano with the second goal of the night. Vancouver is leading 2-0. Now back to Sam Campbell, the VHL newsroom. Thank you, Adam. Sam Campbell here again at the VHL News Desk. Second period scores from around the VHL. Chicago and the New York Islanders. Chicago's on top, 3-2. to two. Detroit, Pittsburgh. Detroit's on top, 1-0 after 2. St. Louis, I'm sorry, yeah, St. Louis and New Jersey Devils. 1-0 St. Louis after 2. Nashville and Philadelphia. 4-3 Nashville. Some offense is starting to explode on that ice. Columbus and the New York Rangers. Rangers with a 1-0 lead after 2. Buffalo, Minnesota. Minnesota takes a 2-1 lead in that game. Calgary, Toronto. Toronto on top, 2-1. To Dallas, Montreal after 2, all tied at 1. San Jose, Boston. San Jose comes back in the second period, scoring 3 unanswered with a 3-1 lead. Phoenix, Ottawa. Phoenix with a 3-0 lead over Ottawa. After two. Tampa Bay, Anaheim. Anaheim comes out with the lead after two. They're up three to two. Will two dollar and company be able to come back? Or will Anaheim's new revamped defense be able to hold serve? Washington and Los Angeles. LA is walking away with it. Three to one after two. Atlanta versus Edmonton. In Edmonton. One nothing Oilers after two. And finally... Colorado, Florida. Florida with the lead, 5-0 after 2. And now back to Adam Smythe on the call, where the Vancouver Canucks are currently leading the Carolina Hurricanes 2-0. Thanks, Sam. Now we're about to start the second period. I gotta tell you, though, fans in Philly better... I hope they brought some sunblock, because that red light is gonna burn a lot of skin. Here we go, face off. Third period underway. KC passes to Millie, who passes the puck on a one-touch pass to Sandman. Sandman dumps it down in the zone. Picked up by Forsberg, trying to find Millie. Millie was stick-checked on that play. Well played by the Vancouver defense. Vancouver is starting to shut things down down low. You'd think uh, Carolina would pass it back to the point to open up the offense, but uh, Vancouver is playing very, very good positional hockey in their defensive zone. Now uh, here's J-Bass, couldn't find anything, tries to break it out, but had to retreat back into his own zone. Got to be careful about doing that. Now pass back to the point, but mishandled by J-Bid. J-Bid races it down, picks it up, now dumps it deep in, but caught by KC. KC passes it back up to Millie in the neutral zone, poked off his stick. Look at the Vancouver guys. Two guys on that puck. Now Degano tries to do the same thing, and it's tipped wide, picked up by KC. KC with the puck. Tries to pick off Millie again, but that one was read this time by J-Bid. 
Forsberg with the poke check. Now Forsberg on a breakaway. No, he's run down by the Vancouver defense. Had to dump it in. Ooh, Forsberg didn't like some choice words there. It looked like Jabin said something about the goon, and the goon came out. Forsberg's going to the box for roughing or interference. Whatever he said to Forsberg, Forsberg took exception to it because he gave it a nice shove. Forsberg with his two, uh, his first two minutes of the season. Yeah, but surprisingly, it's not an A button penalty, that's for sure. Picked up by King AP. King AP dumps it in the neutral zone, but it's picked up. But, oh, wait a minute. Vancouver's going on the... They had a power play, and that power play is about to be over. They're going to be going to the sim bin for tripping. Here's Junk Bomber against the zone, but it's offsides. 4-4 four four hockey coming up right after this break. For the VHL News Desk, I'm Sam Campbell, and this is a news update. Some games went final in opening night around the VHL. Chicago and the New York Islanders are heading to overtime, all tied at 3. Detroit versus Pittsburgh, a rematch of Season 3's Stanley Cup Finals, where Pittsburgh swept the Detroit Red Wings. Detroit is winning 3-0 with seconds ticking off the clock. In fact, that game just went final. Detroit beat Pittsburgh 3-0. St. Louis, New Jersey. St. Louis comes back and defeats New Jersey 2-1. New Jersey tries to answer in the third, but falls just short. Nashville, Philadelphia, tied, going into overtime. 6-6. Six, six. Philadelphia scores three goals in the third period to tie it up again in six. Nashville comes out and scores two in the third. This is a game that has no defense, nothing but offense. Or no goal telling me. It's 6-6 six, six after three. Columbus and the New York Rangers... New York Rangers hold on, withstand the storm. They beat the Columbus Blue Jackets 4-3. Minnesota and Buffalo heading to overtime, tied 3-3. Buffalo comes back, ties the game up late in the third, and uh, ties it at 3. Calgary, Toronto. Calgary tries to come back with two goals in the third period. However, Toronto answers and was able to hold on, win the game 4-3. Montreal, Dallas. This game's going to overtime. Tied right now, 3-3. No, excuse me, 2-2. Montreal scores late in the third period to tie the game to force overtime. San Jose, Boston. It's all San Jose. San Jose has three unanswered goals in the second and three unanswered goals in the third. They beat the Boston Bruins 6-1. Phoenix and Ottawa. Ottawa scores a goal late in the third, but loses to Phoenix. 5-1. Tampa Bay, Anaheim. Anaheim holds on to the lead, but then has, has the lead ripped up from underneath them. Two Dalla and company with Nash, Matty B, well, you know the, the name of the guys. The defending Stanley Cup champs come back out and smack Anaheim in the mouth in the third period. 6-4. Washington and LA. Washington scores two late third period goals, but falls 5-2 over the Los Angeles Kings. The Atlanta Thrashers and the Edmonton Oilers are going to overtime. Atlanta ties it up in the third, 1-1, forcing overtime. Colorado and Florida. Florida is just too much for Colorado. Florida scores two unanswered goals in the third period, uh, making the score 7-0. We still have quite a few overtime games, four to be exact. Overtime games between Atlanta and Edmonton, Dallas and Montreal. Minnesota Buffalo, and of course, the thriller over in Philly, Nashville Flyers. We'll keep you posted. Now back to Vancouver and Carolina, Adam Smythe on the call. Thanks, Sam. 4-on-4 four four hockey coming your way. The one interesting note about tonight's games, that Detroit-Pittsburgh game. Smart, former Vesna winner, gave up three goals on four shots. That has to smart. All right, here we go. 4-on-4 four four hockey, Vancouver, Carolina. KC passes it over to Sandman. Sandman back to KC. Cross ice now picked up by Millie. Millie looking for Sandman. Sandman with the puck down low. Passes back to Bomber. Forsberg's out of the box. Comes into the zone. And nothing's there. Now KC with the puck for Carolina. Passes to Forsberg. Forsberg gains the line. Is battling with Snipe Fest. Snipe Fest gets it out of the zone. Now J Bid. Or I'm sorry, Seabass. Seabass with the puck. Seabass is pinned up against the glass by KC. Still has the puck. Down low behind the net with Perry. Looking for something down low, can't find anything. Oh, top of the slot, blindside. 
with a point blank shot from top of the slot. Perry with it. Puck still loose. Perry can't find it. Almost poked in again. Vancouver was able to kill off the penalty. We're at full strength. Nine minutes, five seconds left in the third. Sandman versus Blindside. Sandman's getting dominated tonight by Blindside. But Sandman wins that one. Drunk Bomber with the puck. The Sandman to Forsberg. Forsberg gains the line. Looks for Millie. Millie just overskates it. Goes harmlessly into the corner. Picked up by Vancouver. Now here comes the Vancouver defense. Back and forth between Jabin and Snipefist. Now to Blindside. Blindside to Gano. Gano short side. Tries to shoot. Saved by Perry. Gano with the puck getting hustled. Forsberg deflects it out of the zone. Sandman pokes it up to Millie. Millie gets the puck. He gets it poked off his stick by Snipefest. Now Millie with the puck, stick lifted by Gano. Gano with the puck. Gano shoots, saved by Perry and covers it up wisely for a quick whistle. 5.38 left in the third. Face up deep in the Carolina zone. Carolina's got to get something going. They're down 2 0. Sandman wins another draw. Back to Drunk Bomber. Drunk Bomber tries to pass it up the boards to Forsberg. And Sandman lays out snipe fest. Sandman with the baseball swing snap, uh, snaps it all the way up to Forsberg. He can't handle it though. Vancouver dumps it deep in the zone. Slashing call on Vancouver. Rut row. Drunk Bomber's stick just shattered. Look at this. Can't do that. Seabass going up against Sandman. Blindside's in the box for two for slashing. Back to Millie. Millie down low. Trying to find something down low. Picked up by Sandman. Loose puck behind the net. Picked up by Sandman. Passes back to the point by Casey. Casey to Sandman. Casey with the puck pre and pressured. Vancouver's playing a tight box. Shot. Bomber. Save. Rebound. Picked up by Vancouver. Now here comes Seabass. Seabass gains his own. Gano flip flops with him. Goes to the high slot. Looking for a pass. Nothing there. Still dangling. Looking for a pass. Casey read the whole thing. Gets a body on the guy. Picks him up. Seabass picks up the loose puck and the shot's deflected wide. Now Sandman to Millie. Millie gains his own. Looks for Forsberg. Decides to pass back to Sandman, but loose puck drifts wide behind Sandman. Now Sandman with the puck down low. Millie gets a rebound pass. Shot saved by King AP. Picked up again by Carolina. Shot and saved by AP. Now Vancouver pokes it out of the zone. Carolina's starting to put some pressure on Vancouver. Unfortunately, the, gate, the score is 2-0 in favor of the Canucks. Ten seconds left in the power play. Vancouver has the puck. Hit by Forsberg. Dumped out of the zone. Picked up by Seabass. But he's offside. News update. DHL Sports Update. Sam Campbell. Overtime games are final. Minnesota loses in overtime to Buffalo 4-3. Dallas defeats the Montreal Canadiens 3-2. And Atlanta defeats Edmonton 2-1. And in the earlier game, Nashville, Philadelphia, in overtime, it takes three of them. Three overtime periods, almost a fourth. But Nashville defeats Philadelphia 7-6 in three overtimes. They play two games to get one score. Yeah. And that's your scores from around the VHL. Now back to Adam Smythe. Carolina versus Vancouver. Vancouver still leading 2-0. Thanks, Sam. I wonder what Kalal Oakman is going to talk about in the next penalty box. You got Smarts, who's smarting after giving up three goals on four shots. Or that lack of defense and goaltending in the Nashville-Philadelphia game. Oh, a little bit of technical error there. We're jumping all over the screen because of lag. Uh, what the hell happened there? We just lost two minutes of footage! Face off deep in the Vancouver zone, picked up by Carolina. Forsberg pressuring, pressuring now. They're on the power play, minute 51 left in the power play. Forsberg is trying to pick a fight with somebody? What, what's he doing? He's way off sides behind the Vancouver net. I don't know what's going on there. If they're having some choice words or having a discussion or what, but uh, something was going on. Minute 33 left on the power play, but only 17 seconds left in the game. Here's uh, Seabass picking up the puck. To blindside. Sandman tries to hit a streaky Millie, but uh, could not connect on the pass. It's, it's icing. Picked up by the Vancouver defense. This game has been back and forth, but two quick strikes in the first and second period by Vancouver, and Carolina was not able to come back. 
Face off won by Sir Sandman, who's starting to come back to form at center after being dominated in the first two periods. And that's the end of the game, folks. Vancouver beats Carolina 2-0 in the season opener in British Columbia. King AP and Net records his first shutout of the season. As Dagano, the new owner of the Vancouver Canucks, goes to celebrate with his guys in the locker room. AP is the third star with the shutout, facing 10 shots, making 10 saves. The second star is none other than Seabass. He has two assists on Dagano's two goals. The first star of tonight's game is none other than Dagano. Two goals in the 2 0 shutout victory over the Carolina Hurricanes. We hope to catch you back on VTN for the next installment of Carolina Hurricanes Hockey as they face off against the San Jose Sharks coming up later in the week. For Whitney O'Connor and everybody else here in the studio, Sam Campbell, I'm Adam Smith. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. This has been a presentation of VHL Television. The VHL Television Network, Carolina. Your home for Carolina Hurricanes hockey.